to do a fun little demonstration for you guys to show you if you're, what you're adding to your aquarium is appropriate for long-term use um, when we're considering the health of our aquatic animals. We're going to go ahead and use a very popular item here in the hobby, Herbal Ictana um, by Microlift. And the reason we're going to use this one is because if you take a look at the label, it says all these things that it will treat, but on the back for the ingredients, there are none. There, it'll show you nothing of what's actually in the bottle. So how would we know, yes, this might actually treat your fish, but if you were to use this long term as a preventative, would it be actually something that's good for your tank? Okay. Also for our demonstration, we're going to use the AAP Wonder Shell, which is basically a calcium magnesium block. Take some water. Okay. Here we are with just some standard bottled water from the store. Take a pH test strip. You can use the liquid or the strips. Just hobbyist grade is fine. We're not trying to get super detailed here. Okay. And what you're going to do is you would take a reading of your water. Now. I know our water here in the city is about 7.0, so I would dip this in, read it, get it about 7.0. Now, what would we expect to see to happen when we add our wonder shell in the water? Well, it's calcium magnesium. Actually, in the hobby, it's actually known as a reducer. Okay. Match this up. Okay, and there we go. It's at about 7.4 it in. Mix it around just a tad. Okay, now let's see the difference here within our reading. And there we go. We're not no longer at 7.0, but I would say we're about 6.5 on our pH scale. Herbal Tana is actually dropping. It is affecting our pH, okay? So let's take a look at this exact same experiment using our redox distilled water. Take our Herb Tana. Let's see here. Sitting at 251. There we go. 270, 268, 266, 264. Is that necessarily bad? No, not really. Um, but when we consider the whole entire aquarium as a whole and the different things that it can affect our redox, it's definitely something you want to take into consideration with all the different things that we're putting into our tank. The medications, the conditioners, the food, all these things add up to an overall redox balance which do affect fish immunity long term. We already add so many acids into the aquarium, the best idea is to try to do as many reductions to the redox potential as possible. It's not necessarily that we want a full redox, a full reduced aquarium, because then obviously nothing will be broken down by oxidation. But we do want to have oxidation with a downshift of reducing. Appreciate you guys watching and hanging in there with me, taking a look at this quick demonstration. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. We really appreciate you guys helping us get professional grade information out to the hobby. All right, thanks so much. Bye.